Most best antivirus lists just rehash the most popular names, but popularity doesn't guarantee good security. So let's talk about the best antivirus 2026 picks that actually deliver, along with their pros and cons. I tested a ridiculous number of antiviruses for this video, and after putting them through a list of my antivirus requirements, I've managed to narrow it down to four solid picks. Total AV, Norton, Bitdefender, and Surfshark antivirus. So first, here's how these antiviruses handle malware. My usual antivirus test routine is simple. I load my PC with 100 malicious files, and I run the full scan with each antivirus while everything else is turned off. This doesn't test the full scope of protection, but gives an insight into how an antivirus handles threats and how much of resources of the device it takes up. This time, Bitdefender proved to have the most effective scan, but it definitely hit my CPU the hardest. That just means that you might wanna leave your PC alone during the full scans. All right, Total AV and Norton managed to get the same number of threats, but while Total AV completed the scan quicker, Norton was much gentler on my CPU. Surfshark antivirus got a slightly better result than the previous two and had the shortest scan overall, while also never maxing out my CPU. Now, I then compared my results with those of independent testers as they do much more extensive evaluations. And in the latest Windows test, all four providers got a 100% protection rate from both old and newer malware threats. Bitdefender lost half a point in performance, which was also reflected in my testing with you know the high CPU usage. Surfshark antivirus lost half a point each in performance and usability. Curiously, that was the opposite case in my own testing, but this AV test with Surfshark is a little bit older, so it looks like they managed to patch these things up during that time. Now, overall, all four picks have strong malware detection. They mostly differ in how resource intensive the apps are, which is something to consider if you've got an older PC. If you already have a choice in mind, just check the links in the description to grab a coupon code for your pick. But what I've noticed is that each best antivirus 2026 candidate has a bit of a different approach with different pros and cons. So let me talk about them in more depth. Okay, starting with Total AV, it's the easiest pick if you're new to antivirus software. The UI is very straightforward with no confusing menus or buried settings, but is Total AV legit when it comes to dealing with malware. Besides multiple scanning options, it has real-time protection that watches over the device 24-7, shielding it from spyware, adware, ransomware, phishing, basically any threat you can think of. The only thing I'm missing here is a firewall to look over network traffic. That said, Total AV works well in conjunction with the native Windows and Mac firewalls. So you still get a solid all around protection. Beyond the core security features, there are some useful extras like an integrated VPN for safer browsing on public Wi-Fi, as well as a password manager to keep your logins secure. But I actually like the total ad block tool the most. It's really effective at cleaning out ads and trackers, be it on my desktop or mobile. Also, you aren't stuck with these tools if you don't need them. Just pick a plan based on the extra features that you want how many devices you need to protect. And all of these plans are really affordable. Just make sure to either scan this QR code or check the link in the description to grab the best price. Otherwise you might see a much higher price tag. If we take a look at Norton, the app looks and feels much more advanced as it's packed with more tools, more settings and more customization options. And it's pretty awesome if you like tinkering with your security settings. But even without diving into all the options, you get really strong anti-malware protection. Norton's detection rate was really high in my tests, and that was just one security feature. The full package has multiple scanning options, real-time protection, and a smart firewall that works together with their intrusion prevention system. This way you're protected not just from malicious files, but also from any attempts to infiltrate your system. All that comes with every single plan, along with cool features like webcam protection, and secure cloud backup for sensitive files. Another cool addition is their Genie Scam Protection. It's an AI that easily detects scam messages, be it on an SMS or an email, you can run anything by it. No matter the plan, Norton also adds a free password manager into the mix, so even the most basic plan has an impressive set of features. Higher tier plans unlock the ability to protect more than one device, as well as extra tools like Norton VPN for private browsing. 
dark web monitoring to watch out for data leaks, and a really handy set of parental controls. But you can probably see the drawback here. With so many features, Norton can be overwhelming for beginners. So is Norton antivirus worth it? Well, if it's not your very first antivirus, absolutely. It's reliable and packed with tools, and you always have a way to cut the price even lower. Just scan this QR code or check the link in the description. Now, let's talk about Bitdefender. As you saw, it caught the most threats in my own malware tests, and this is far from the first time that that's happened. It's clear right away from a Bitdefender antivirus review that this provider is focused on being as efficient and secure as possible. And not just when it comes to the full scan, but for all other features too. There's real-time protection, anti-ransomware and anti-spam measures, a firewall for watching over the network, and protection from web attacks. Basically, Bitdefender covers every possible entry point for malware and vigorously guards each one. Of course, the drawback of this is that the app itself is quite bulky and the installation can take a while and it can be resource intensive during scans. Also, while it does have an integrated VPN, it's not fit for anything other than casual browsing, especially considering a 200 megabyte data cap. Now, this goes for no matter what plan you pick, unless you opt for the highest tier subscription, but that one is, to be fair, a bit pricey. Their most popular plan is actually the mid-tier one, Total Security, as it covers a few devices, works on all of the major operating systems, and includes parental controls. This plan also has the firewall in the package and webcam and microphone protection. Something that's actually missing from the lowest tier option, but that one is great if you only need a basic security package for a singular Windows device, and it's gonna be exceptionally affordable as well. Still, make sure to use a Bitdefender coupon code so you're gonna pay the least possible price. All right, moving on. Surfshark antivirus is also a worthy option, especially considering how well it performed in my testing. It's no small feat since Surfshark is primarily a VPN and the antivirus is an extra tool. But it looks like they're putting a lot of effort into making this bundle a worthy choice. Surfshark antivirus comes with real-time protection just like others and has features like webcam protection as well as anti-ransomware measures. Even though the tool set in the antivirus itself is minimal, you get a bunch of extra benefits that come along with the Surfshark One plan. This subscription unlocks a private search engine that doesn't display ads and won't profile you. Then there's Surfshark Alert, which keeps an eye on online databases for leaks of your data. But the biggest perk of all is, of course, the VPN. It's one of the fastest providers and among the most popular as well. You can easily stream, safely torrent with it, block annoying ads, or just turn it on for privacy protection. What's really nice is that all these tools are within a single app, which is built to be intuitive and sleek. That said, Surfshark does not include a firewall, so you're gonna have to rely on the native one of your device, and there's no parental controls here. However, Surfshark makes up for this with really affordable pricing, especially considering they have a two-year subscription while other antiviruses usually have price increases after a year. Plus, you can cut the price even lower with a discount code, so don't forget to use that. All right, to sum all this up, what is the best antivirus? Well, it just really depends. You know, If you're a complete beginner, Total AV is the most straightforward option. If you're an advanced user, then I'm pretty sure you're really gonna like Norton. Meanwhile, Bitdefender is the best at pure malware detection, while Surfshark is gonna be a great antivirus plus VPN bundle, and the most affordable as well. So which of these best antivirus 2026 options are you planning to pick? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.